Hi everyone, my name is Diego and welcome to RunLab. Today I want to review with you Supply Jacket from Rook Territory. This is a review requested by Ryan. I own this jacket for three years already and this jacket became well known when it was worn by uh, Daniel Craig in the last James Bond movie. Rook Territory, you know, is a small company that produces uh, subject denim and really good quality. When I bought this this jacket, I was uh, I was researching uh, in, in, the, in the website of Rock Territory and fell in love immediately when I seen the design of the jacket and the fact that this uh, wax a cotton, uh, wax a canvas, uh, make even more desirable for me this jacket because I really love the the, um, the, the jackets, the wax jackets. Let's do the review and see. What is the good thing, the bad things, and if I recommend this jacket for you? Let's talk first about the fabric. It's constructed with Martensen uh, wax canvas that is really well known uh, because the quality of this, this canvas and the weight is 10 ohms. Let's see how is the construction. You can see there is one, two, three, four, five buttons. There is a button hole here, has no function. And there is a pocket here. You can see the pocket. There are two hand pockets on the sides. Two hand pockets on the sides. You can see. Then, let's see the in, in terms of construction. First, let's talk about the collar. The collar is the wax set. It was only one, one stitch. Uh, one, line of stitch is not reinforced, is not reinforced. You can see here the same construction. It's not reinforced. Simple one, the jolk is like a, any tracker jacket. You see, double stitch here. Simple stitch on, on the on the collar. And there is a pocket here. And you can see there is another pocket inside, but you can see the stitches here. Still a simple stitches. There's no reinforced, no here. Here, yes, there is reinforced stitches. There is reinforced stitches. In terms of uh, the, the slip attached to, to the main, to the body of the jacket, there is double stitches. Here too, double stitch all the way down. And here is simple stitch again. There is no reinforcement. The hardware is fine. It's the hardware they use for the jeans with the symbol of the feather. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it there. Symbol of the feather. They open this. Oh, it slips first. Then double stitches on the leaf. On this leaf, here, you can see it. There's a button, only one button. The shape of the of the cuff. So far, so good. This uh, jacket never was uh, rewaxed. Uh, the, there is one thing that uh, is important with the waxed jacket. Any waxed jacket, time to time, need to be rewaxed. Uh, according to, by example, Barber or um, Bellstaff or, or Peregrine, their advice depend on the use. Every year, uh, rework the, the, the jacket to keep the, the waterproof uh, characteristic of that jacket and prolong the, the, the life because the wax itself protects the canvas too. Then, let's open, see how it's inside. Okay, the, the pockets as you see, one thing before, before to finish in, in the outside, is the, the pockets are applied, it's a patch applied over, over the canvas, okay? There's a reinforce here, there's a reinforce here, and a reinforce here. That could uh, provide some protection when, when you, with the, the, the common uh, use and avoid to rip off this. Um, we didn't see the posterior. Posterior. I'm going to show you this posterior. 
there is a nice slim fit. Yes, have you seen? Look at this. This slim fit. It is a good design, really, realistically. It's a really good design. Then basic one. There's no nothing special. Let's go inside this jacket. Inside the jacket. The pocket has a protection here. I will see. There's a protection on the pocket. That is really nice detail. And inside we can see how is the finish. There are loose threads. Okay, there are loose threads, which is not a good thing that I like it because it's, it showed like a lack of the care on the detail, which make a, a, a garment which is expensive make feel uh, you, you are paying the right money for that, that garment. But look, let's see inside the sleeve. See how the construction too. Is reconstruction is okay. See them one thing here. One thing. You see them. I don't know if you can see the marks here. The same marks outside this. The the, the in relation with the wear and the that means the wax is already start to fade to fade to disappear to gone. You know that's a sign that this need to rewax it because you can see clearly. If you can see here, let's show you this. You can see here that there is lack of wax uh, and the other where is uh, clear is lack of wax and where is darker there is still wax. This is not good sign. Into that's it's a, it's a sign that this uh, jacket has lost his um, waterproof. Uh, uh, or water resistant capabilities. Let's go back to seeing the rest. Okay. Remember, this jacket can be washed just clean with the with the um, wet uh, sponge or, or um, yeah, wet sponge. I, I I recommend because that could pass over the thing and remove all the the, the dirty or most of them. There is a, a tab here. Let's say how we need to maintain the, the, the jacket. And that's it. Simple. Details. Loose threads. Loose threads. Loose threads. Mm, you know, that's show you know, there's not really good care of the details in terms of quality. And another thing. This jacket cost $325, $325, and has details. Look at the bottom holes, loose threads here, here, not really good, well uh, finished, and here too. This is, is started talking about the downsides of this jacket. Uh, Let's see, in, term, in terms of canvas, the canvas is good quality. In terms of the style, it's really nice style, slim fit, like in the way that I like it. But there are details on the finish that talking about you, you pay $325 for a jacket. I think unless you really, really like it, I think it's not, it shows like a lack of um, care of the product. In terms of the big, big, uh, uh, problem with this jacket. As you see, I was talking about this, the, the white lines are a place where the wax is gone and this needs to be reworked. But there is one problem with this jacket. The big problem is the lack of lining. Every, every uh, wax canvas uh, jacket I own all has lining. Whether it's a thicker or a thinner liner, depend on what you can wear in uh, springtime or autumn or winter time, but always has a lining. The lining has um, an objective, which is keep you away from the wax of canvas and the wax and avoid that yeah, the um, 
body heat melt the wax and make this fade faster. Also, is uh, uh, moreover, sorry, moreover, if you wear this with just a t-shirt, it's very uncomfortable uh, at the beginning because all this wax is uh, is sticking on your on your on your on your skin because of your body heat melt the wax. Then this is the big issue with this uh, with this jacket. It's very nice. The quality is okay because um, uh, I can say it's okay. The 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 cotton uh, the wax uh, cotton uh, canvas is really good, but the lack of lining at this level of price is is the the, the big fall of this uh, of this jacket. We are paying three hundred twenty five pounds. There are other jackets for the same price. If we we're talking about barber. With coming with lined, by example, the Ashby jacket is a, an, is really good, has a really good details, and costs more or less the same. Of course, if you depend on how you like or not the style, are two different styles. But in terms of construction, we're talking about the terms of construction. Then, uh, Rock Territory has fixed that problem. With there is the same model, lined. But what is the problem with this? The problem with this is that the liner model is cost $100 more. It's $425. Then what is the solution? There is an alternative for this jacket. This, uh, the alternative is the, how is, the Tinder, uh, the Tinder, uh, um, the Flint, sorry, the Flint and Tinder jacket. The Flint and Tinder jacket, what's selling in Hackenberry, which is, Martin's canvas is seven ounces, is not ten ounces, and it's lined. And the price is two hundred ninety-eight dollars. I never seen that jacket in sale. I never seen that jacket in sale. But uh, if you compare, the Tinder is more. It's a tracker style. It's not a slim fit. It's regular fit. But in terms of what you spend uh, and what you get for the money, is better. The, the Flint and Tinder, I think is the best option if you're looking for something similar and don't want to spend this amount, uh, amount of money. If you like it because you're a fan of James Bond or because you like this style or you're a fan of rock territory, go ahead, by any means. But if I need to advise you about this jacket, uh, uh, give you my, 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 my real thought is uh, Flint and Tinder is the best option in terms of money and in terms of uh, quality. Because more or less the same quality, of course, is a lighter canvas, but uh, really, uh, if you want to have 10, 10 ounce canvas, no line it with all the problems that cause that, uh, and pay $325, when you can have one of for $298 and fully line it, Mm, think about it. If you are looking for a jacket of this characteristic, um, make a look on, on Hackenberry website and see if it fits your bill. Otherwise, uh, if you like barber style, I still it's about barber style. But this jacket, I think, mm, is not worth it. I think uh, pay $425 for a uh, full line at this jacket. I think it's not worth it either. But I like it. Yes, I like it. I really like it. I really, really like it. Let's see how is the fit. Here I am with the jacket on, how is this fit. Okay, before to move forward, uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and you help me to grow this channel. And you have any, any, any comments or anything or suggestions, anything at all, please write down in the comment section because that helped me to improve the quality of my videos, which is, that is my idea. Anyway, uh, fit wise, you see, extra large. I'm six feet uh, too tall and my weight is uh, 207 uh, pounds or 94 kilograms. Mm, extra large fit really well. It's a slim fit, as you see back the other side 
in front. I only wear a flannel shirt with a long, long sleeve uh, t-shirt. Um, in terms of my final thoughts of this, I think this jacket is fantastic, it's wonderful, but in different fabric, not in wax uh, canvas. Uh, for wax canvas, if I have the chance to do it again, I don't bore it in this, uh, this style because the lack of lining has problems, has problems. And the lined version in the same color wax set is too expensive. I think I moved to the, to the, other, the other brand in order to get more or less the same, same style of jacket and lining and cheaper. But I'm more than happy to have a different uh, fabric, this jacket, because I really, really like it. I think it's really good choice if you want to be stylish as a um, style tracker jacket. And you see, I, I think there is nothing else to say in, in regards to this jacket. But uh, keep in mind that when you, if you want to decide to buy, buy this jacket. Thank you so much. See you on the next. Bye. Peace.